Happy Tuesday, my ASVAB party people. Coach Anderson here, and in today's video, we're following up on yesterday. Remember that yesterday we had a free class on proportion word problems, and today we have another one for our full program members. So let's go ahead and get another preview of what we can expect to see. I got you. These proportion questions, they can be answered very easily only if you know the main idea. Compare the same things in the same way. So let's go ahead and check things out here. Let's get the job done. First things first, we gotta read the question. So the question says, how many cups of vinegar will you need? Okay, so immediately I'm orienting myself around the idea that we're talking about vinegar in some sense. I wanna find out the number of cups of vinegar. So I'll say blank cups of vinegar. Okay, so next up, let's move forward now and now orient our minds around asking, what information do we have that's connected to the vinegar? How do I find this connection, right? So here, a recipe for homemade cleaning solution calls for a ratio of three parts vinegar to two parts water. So boom, there it is. Vinegar is mentioned and it's being compared to water in some sort of, uh, some recipe for a homemade solution. So we'll write that down. It says it calls for a ratio of three parts vinegar to two parts water. Gotta write that down here. So we'll say over here, I'll say three parts vinegar to two parts water. And again, my part of people, this is a ratio. We are making a comparison between two amounts. We're saying that, hey, if we have three cups of vinegar, it's two cups of water. If we have three gallons of vinegar, we have two gallons of water. Wherever vinegar is three, the water is two. The comparison, that's how it is. If it's six, then it's four, nine, then it's six, etc. So with that said, do we have enough information? Not quite yet. Here's what we need to solve this. We're told that we wanna make 15 cups of this cleaning solution. Okay, we need blank cups of vinegar. Let me write this over here. We need blank cups of vinegar for 15 cups of the solution. So notice, remember earlier at the beginning of the video when I said, if you know how to compare the same things in the same way, this problem is super easy. Well, this is where that's gonna come into play. Most people, when they are just starting off or refreshing with proportions, and you tell me in the comments if this sounds like you, most people, what they'll do is the moment they see that, oh, I made a comparison, this might be a proportion, I believe that the first thing I need to do is say, okay, we have three to two, three over two, and then I have blank and 15, okay x and 15. Most people would do that. But the problem with this specific problem is that that'll be wrong. But here's why. Here's why. Remember that the main idea for proportions is comparing the same things in the same way. I know I'm going to repeat myself a lot, so pay attention. It says over here, three vinegar, two water. So that's three parts vinegar, two cups water. But what about the right side? What is the x and the 15? What do they represent? Well, the x represents the cups of vinegar. So that's correct. So right over here, vinegar, vinegar up top. Okay, that's good. But what about the denominators? Okay, the denominator here is water. What does the 15 represent? The solution itself. That represents the whole thing, the mixture of it together. So are we comparing the same things in the same way? No, we're not. We're comparing vinegar to vinegar. Yes, that's good. But water to the total cups? That doesn't make sense at all. But most people would try to solve this, they'll get an answer, and unfortunately, it'll be wrong. The right way to do this is to make sure that if this represents down here the total, then this needs to represent the total. And so I have to get rid of that too because I can't use water. I have to use the total of the parts. Since we have three parts vinegar, let me highlight this again. Since we have three parts vinegar, to two parts water, what's the total number of parts? Five. Three plus two is five, right? So there it is. As long as we know how to compare the same things in the same way, boom, we'll make sure that we have the right pieces at the right places. Because only when we have the right things in the right places that we can confidently calculate, solve, and be good. And that's how you raise your score. 
we have two questions. So this is the first one. We're going to solve it and then stay tuned because we have another one right here in the same video. So here we are. One way we can solve this is say, hey, cross, multiply, or divide. But sometimes it's a little easier than that when you notice that you can compare the same things in the same way. The comparison from total to total, that's times three. So that means from vinegar to vinegar, times three. Remember that proportions, we preserve the comparison. So if you're comparing from left to right for the total, it's the same comparison as over here. Three times three, that's gonna be nine, and that would be our answer. But let me prove that to you by going ahead and cross multiplying and dividing. And so we have five times X, that's five X. Three times 15, that's gonna be 45. And then the last thing we'll do is divide both sides by five, right there and there, canceling out, giving us X equals what? Nine. And look at that. I told you, it would be the same exact answer because remember that as long as you're comparing the same things in the same way, cross multiplication and division, or just understanding the, the comparison of the ratios, it works. So don't believe me, let's go ahead and try this next one out. This one might look a little scary. You might see a percentage here. Coach, how is this gonna be a proportion question? Well, guess what? In tonight's class, again, the follow-up class, we're gonna be introducing all the different types of problems that can be solved with proportions, so you're not gonna to wanna to miss out. Make sure that you check out the link in the description of this video or my profile, or just shoot me a text. That way you can understand how amazing this program is, gives you all the recordings, all the practice that we do, along with courses that you can access 24 seven online, and I send you progress reports on a weekly basis, and you can go ahead and text me whenever you have any questions or need guidance on how to approach things. I got your back, my party people. So let's go ahead and solve number two. So with this one here, the goal of the question is to find how many total items are stored in the warehouse. Okay, sounds good. How many total items are stored in the warehouse? Blank total stored. Next, what do we see? In a military supply warehouse, 35% of the stored items are medical supplies. Okay, so let me write this over here. 35% is going to account for medical supplies. Perfect. And then it says that if there are 280 medical supply items, how many are total? Okay, so how do we make this comparison? So here we have blank total, 280 medical. Here's how we do this. We write a proportion. We just make sure that we can compare the same things in the same way. So what I'll do is I'll say, okay, let me do the percentage, 35%. What did they compare the 35% to? Well, guess what? What are we comparing any percent to? Always 100%. It's always out of 100%, the word percent stands for out of 100. So 35% out of all supplies, 35% is medical, 100% is all the supplies, equals, compare the same things in the same way, we have 280 medical, and we're looking for the total, or all. Boom, we have a proper proportion laid out, and we can have ourselves a good time. So. From here, we can go ahead and cross multiply and divide if we'd like to, but actually I'm gonna show you here how it's actually beneficial to see if you can simplify the fractions before you actually multiply. And so what I'll do right over here, I'll go ahead and say that 35 and 100 are both divisible by five. So that'll turn into seven over 20 equals on the right side, 280 over total. Then I noticed that, oh wait, I can actually do something here. I can compare and say seven to 280, that's times 40. Seven to 28 is times four, so times 40 to get there. And so here, same comparison, times 40, 20 times 40 is 800. So you don't have to do all that work all the time, everybody. Join tonight's class and I'll show you exactly how to get things done. And you can see how you can raise your score and get the job that you want, my part of people. Answer is C, and I'll see you in tonight's class. All right, so you made it to the end, but are you feeling like, yeah, coach, this video made sense, but when I try it on my own, it's not as easy. If that sounds like you, then what you need is a tailored approach to your situation, and that's what my full program does. 
I've been doing this for well over five years. I've been teaching for over a decade and I've been here to help you and everybody else who wants to take their career seriously to get them to ace the ASVAB. I'm Coach Anderson, sign up, show up, and let's ace the ASVAB. Thank you.